Yo, yo, this is Chris Blair, you know, and I often ride the bullet train almost every week. I ride the bullet train between Kyoto and Tokyo because I have two apartments, one in Kyoto and one in Tokyo. And so, and I also almost never take a video inside the bullet train. So I thought, you know what, today we're going to change that. So look how fast this is going. Um, this used to be the fastest train on earth. But now, apparently in France, there's another train that's actually faster than the Japan bullet train. So this is the second fastest train on earth. And I ride on this all the time. I mean, literally every week. I'm going back and forth because to my two apartments. I have one apartment in Tokyo and one in Kyoto. See, this is the other history of my, my, my background. Uh, you know, when I first started living in Japan, I lived in Tokyo with my parents. Then later on, after university, I lived in... Um, Kyoto, worked in Kyoto, then I ended up getting a job in Tokyo, and then when I had the freedom of being an internet entrepreneur and yeah, success and, and being able to afford to travel back and forth, I decided to get an apartment in both because I love living in both places. Let me, so now you guys see how fast it is. Let me show you guys what the seating's like. Today is actually more crowded than usual. I felt very, very surprised. It's Saturday morning here and it's very, very crowded, but as you can see the seating's very comfortable. And what's really cool is look at how it's not bouncing up and down like an airplane. It runs really, really smooth, right? So it's more, more comfortable than an airplane by far. I prefer the bullet plane. Plus, bullet train, sorry, over an airplane. I mean, plus you don't have to go two hours in advance or an hour in advance. You can literally show up five minutes. It goes right in the, this takes me right in the center of Kyoto. So literally my apartment from, um, I have to get on another train, a local train, but literally 10 minutes from, not 15 minutes, including the walk from the station where the train arrives and then in Tokyo same thing I get another local train go to my apartment there it takes about 20 minutes you know including the walk so literally I mean it's so convenient you know unlike the airport you don't have to go out and set you don't have to arrive early you don't have to go out into the countryside to get to the airport it's really really nice so let me go show you guys here's where all the, the someone's in the restroom there there's a sink there where you can wa wash your hands toilet all very clean I think that's what I love about Japan. Look how clean the toilet is. Not filthy and dirty. Oh, well, we're going through a tunnel. I don't, hopefully you can still have me. Check this out. This is what the seating looks like inside a bullet train. Well, I don't know if we're still getting this with the tunnel. I'm gonna wait for the tunnel to get out of the tunnel. I, didn't, I forgot there was a tunnel coming up here. All right, now we're out of the tunnel. I don't know if you guys still had all that or not. How many of you have ever ridden in a bullet train? Oh man, too many tunnels here. How many of you have ever ridden a bullet train? Great if you comment down below. So I just wanted to show you guys something different. That'd be how cool it is. All right. Really, really super fast. You know, in America needs, North America needs, apparently I think there's a New York now, New York to Boston. Why face masks? Um, some people in Japan like to wear face masks because they, if they have a cold, they don't like, they're worried about spreading it. It's considered, you know, a, let's look at the, the view here is on the, better on this side. Um, they consider it a polite to wear masks to, you know, keep you from getting sick, spreading colds, so this is a common thing. Anyway guys, this is Chris Blair and I'm on my way to Tokyo.